Cooper. Sorry to bother you in the middle of your show, but after your brilliant magic trick here in the Sense of News Auditorium, I felt it only appropriate to return the gift. Hey! Oh, Vega, what are you doing here? I have something to talk to you about. Excuse me, Vega, but I've got a rather important date. I'm not joking around, oh. Ace. What was the idea of bringing up the Richie Valenti affair again, in mixed company? What in the world are you talking about? Last night at the DNA Club, friend. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't even at the DNA Club last night. Mona, you know that I've always been in love with you, and I think that you feel the same about me. Hmm, unexpected company? Mona, will uh, you go away with me this weekend? Uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I gotta go. Mona, wait! Hey, hey, you! Hey, hey, I'm talking to you! What? Imposter, just you wait one. You can't try and take advantage of the great Ace Cooper. Ugh. My sentiments exactly. What is this about? Your money. Your fame, your life. After spending so long in the shadows, it's time for the double to assume the identity. Uh, uh, uh. Now, let's see what you have in your pockets. <laughs> I'm not going to kill you right away, because I want you first to feel what it's like to be someone's double. Open your eyes wide. The show is about to begin. <laughs> Cosmo, it's me. Uh, you gotta talk louder, Ace. You're breaking up. I, I can't. Uh, listen. There's a guy who's going around masquerading as me. What? Uh, a double. <laughs> What's happening, Xena? Oh, it's only Ace. Dear old Xena, always happy to see me. So, did you manage to get rid of your double? Yeah, what a joker. Ah, I fixed him up good. Uh, there'll always be just one Ace Cooper. Boy, you can say that again. Open up. Unknown visitors are requested to identify themselves. Ah, good Lord, Angel, it's me, Ace. Oh. Oh. What the heck are you doing here? Oh. oh, Cosmo, the double reprogrammed Angel. Zena. 
Knock off the shelf, fraud. Even Cena doesn't recognize you. Cena? Poisoned you too? Dude, if you don't leave now, I'm gonna call the cops. So, are you going out with someone else? No, no, there's no one else. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. I guess I'm becoming a bit jealous. So we'll see each other tomorrow? Yeah, sure, sure. Good night. Yeah. I don't recognize him anymore. Hmm. I'd like to speak with Lieutenant Vega, please. He's very busy, you know, with this clown oh. and the magician. Tell him I'll be right over. Ace, you don't know how relieved I am. I really thought for a moment that you weren't my friend anymore. Come on, Vega. You know me. But listen, we're really gonna have to get our hands on this guy. He's a psycho. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. And I apologize again for that little altercation this afternoon. wasn't me. Yeah, I know. It was your double. <sighs> Dude, if you don't leave now, I'm gonna call the cops. I thought you were my friend. Sorry to bother you in the middle of your show. Exits. Attention all personnel. Secure all exits. No one is to leave the building. Despite the painkiller I gave him, which should put him back on his feet for a few hours, I'm afraid there's no hope. He was injected with a substance which acts directly on the brain. Every thought, even the slightest effort to concentrate, will trigger extreme pain. But there's got to be an antidote. The only way to save him is to find out exactly what all the components of the poison are. It's as though the man who injected him with the poison wanted to make sure it was deadly, but also wanted the agony to last as long as possible. shouldn't have. This ring is to seal our love. This will be the beginning of a new life. 
No, nothing will ever be able to separate us. The magician retires? Ha! Huh, I gotta show this to Ace! Howdy, Cosmo. Yo, Ace. Front page news, dude. Listen to this. These guys will print anything to sell their rags. Check it out. The magician's gonna retire. <laughs> well, Cosmo, it's the truth. What? I've decided to give up magic. I know it'll be a surprise for everyone. I've decided to make a public announcement this afternoon on Sensa News. And me? Man, you could have at least talked to me about it. Don't worry, Cosmo. Everything's looked after. <clears throat> Starting Monday, you begin classes at the best mm. boarding school in Electro City. School? No way! Never! Oh, well, by the way, bro, you better look after that cold or it's gonna ruin your last show in front of Paparazzo's camera. I'm gonna have to do something about that boy. What's wrong with you? Hey, Xena! Xena! Angel, give me the results of the sensory scanner. This information has been classified confidential. Top secret. Since when do you hide information from me, Angel? Since yesterday. Yesterday? Hmm. Now why would Ace have reprogrammed? Unless... Don't you worry, Angel. I'll fix this. Zena's back on her feet again. It was a behavior-altering device. That's why she didn't recognize Ace. Good deduction, my little friend. That patch is nothing compared to the lethal poison I've injected my twin brother with. He's only got a few hours to live. Liar! I have dealt with you. No one will be able to get in my way. And then money, fame, and that magical name, Ace Cooper, will be all mine. Just see the headlines. Tragic accident for Sorcerer's Apprentice. Give it up, loser! You'll never get away with it! You poor deluded fool! Do you have any idea how much work and concentration has gone into copying someone to the point of perfection? Years of close study and observation in order to learn every little detail about him. His childhood friends, his favorite food, everything! What I've had to go through right up to this stupid nose job, which has been impossible to breathe through. You freak! Save your breath, kid. You'll need it. User unknown. Identify yourself. I am Ace Cooper. The general security system. Ah, the damn kid reprogrammed Angel. Xena. Oh. <laughs> Cosmo. Cosmo. I 
need an antidote. Come on, man, get up. We'll find it. Ace, I've got the poison. Angel will be able to find out the composition of the poison, man. It is a lethal solution of sulfatine acid and oxygenated arsenic. Quick, find the antidote. I'm already accessing. Thank you, Angel. Check in all access, Officer 675. Roger. Mr. Cooper, why are you giving up magic? Well, let's just say that I have other interests I want to pursue. Are you worried about this double of yours causing you uh -huh. trouble? <laughs> Not really. Even though the Electro City Police Force is busy shaking down the casinos, I still have my magic cane here to protect me. Hmm. Sir? Your backstage huh? pass, please. My pass? What, are you kidding? Dude, I'm the sax player in the group. Hey, c get your hands off me, man. I told you I'm the sax player. Cosmo? Reinforcement at the stage exit. Over. Well done, Cosmo. Good evening, everybody. Are you ready to see him? Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the one, the only, the greatest, most spectacular, fabulous, unique, magician! Hey! Here you go. Pocket change. Good old Cooper. But seriously now, if you quit doing magic, how are you going to support all your charities? <laughs> Who knows? But I'm sure that there are plenty of volunteers out there in the audience. You've learned your lesson well, but you seem to lack the je ne sais quoi that makes the magician the magician. Ah! Imposter! Ah! Ah! So, who is the real Ace Cooper? Guess who? It's my lucky day. Four Coopers for the same price. You won't get me, Cooper. Your place is mine now. Ah! Holograms. You're not afraid of a double, are you? Magic Force, reveal the power within. What a wonderful show. Cooper versus Cooper. Which one is the double? It's amazing. Cooper, don't you ever do that to us again. Ever. Oh, oh easy, Vega. He isn't back to normal yet. Uh, I don't want to offend you, Vega, but I would rather have Mona hold me. <laughs> <laughs> and as for the weekend that we talked about? <laughs>